Woohoo! Which means we are back in the European Union in three months. They'll have Euro as the currency as well. Unfortunately, not yet. But that's okay. Still very happy to be back in the EU. I don't know if anyone else can relate, but for me, it always feels a bit like coming home. You know, we're just in the EU. That's nice. Ah, so, about. Uh, for 50 kilometers left for today and then we'll be on an island because we decided to do or to start off with island hopping in Croatia. I'm excited. I'm so stoked for the ocean. So excited. Oh, and I'm excited about all the, uh, the food items. Now there's a sign, careful wild boars. I don't know if you've seen the video when we camped in Spain and found us surrounded by a horde of wild boars, but I appreciate the warning, thanks. Finally back at the sea. I'm so excited. Our first 10 kilometers in Croatia and there have been so many construction sites on the road <laughs> that the Eurovelo was kind of closed on two um, different construction sites and the signs were not really clear so we just drove there and the workers were really friendly they let us through which was nice because otherwise we would have that would have meant at least 25 or 30 kilometers of the deviation driving around and Oh my God, I really need some food. I'm so hungry. So I was happy <laughs> that we, we they let us through. That was amazing. Good morning! Today we're driving to Korchula. The weather is really nice for cycling. It just rained a little bit. Unfortunately, quite windy, but we're still having fun. There's a huge wild boar population on the island because you see the signs every five kilometers or so. Careful, watch out, wild boars. Oh, the scenery is beautiful. Wow. Oh, it's so pretty here. <laughs> wow, I mean, look at that. My favorite treat in Croatia is the so-called pita filled with potato. It's so good. I love that. You definitely need to get that. Sold at bakeries and supermarkets. It's by far the most expensive ferry ride I've ever done. It's just 15 minutes, um, but we paid 
13 euros for the two of us because we had to pay for the bikes as well. That's insane in Greece. That would have been one euro per person or something. We're just setting over <laughs> there. It's, it's really not a big distance. That's very expensive. Good morning, everybody. Um, well, it's raining. <laughs> um, the weather has been kind of bad the last few days. We've had a lot of rain, thunderstorms last night, which made it hard to sleep, honestly, because it's really loud in the tent. Um, but we've had some beautiful days in Croatia. We met two other cyclists who we spent the nights and the evenings on the campgrounds with. Um, and during the days we split up because we had different speeds um, of riding the bike. But in the evening we met again, which was really nice. And now we're getting ready to head uh, west because we want to take a ferry to Split tomorrow and hopefully the weather holds because it's really not a lot of fun cycling when it's that rainy. It is finally starting to clear up a little bit. It's been raining all, all the time, <laughs> um, but that's fine. The atmosphere is amazing with the rain. I love it. But I can start to see some blue sky again. Let's cross our fingers that we don't have to ride through the rain all day. <laughs> demounting the bags from the bikes because we have to carry everything down the stairs uh, I mean why does Komod plan something like this it's so weird I mean that's a narrow very steep very long way to go down why <laughs> So it's very, very, very windy right now. We've had dinner and there's a little storm outside. So it's very win windy. I hope the tent holds it out, but um, it's very cozy. Good morning, everybody. It's our last morning in Croatia because we kind of spontaneously decided to leave the country today by ferry. First, we are leaving the island we're staying on right now, which is Korchula, taking the ferry to Split, which is a three hour ride. to Ancona it was very spontaneous we decided to go to Italy two days ago there has been a lot of bad weather recently in Croatia but also in Italy there were a lot of floods people died um, especially in the Ancona region that's 
said, of course, but also we hope that it's still possible to use all the roads and everything. It's an overnight ferry of, uh, of 11 hours. We saved us pretty good spots next to a window. And I'm very excited for Italy.